Hey guys, it's Ken from Cambody Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Dominic Food Review, just for you and just for you. I am again, once again, at one of my favorite restaurants of all time, and that would be Wendy's in Bradford, Ontario. And we are going to get the Tuscan chicken sandwich on ciabatta. 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 Welcome to Wendy's. Can I take your order? Hey, how are you doing today? Good, thanks. How about you? All right. Uh, I'm going to try the Tuscan chicken on ciabatta, please. And just the sandwich. Just the sandwich? Okay. Would you like anything else? Uh, no, thanks. Would you like to donate a dollar to the Dave Thomas Foundation for adoption? I sure would. Thank you. Pay a total of 777. Drive up to the second window. Thank you. You're welcome. They're always so nice here. That's why I come here all the time. Yeah. They're laughing at me already. They're like, here comes that fat guy. <laughs> There's somebody ahead of me and it's going to mess up the time. So I always time it from the moment I say thank you, start to drive, to the moment I grab the bag of food. That's how I judge the time. How's it going today? Hi, Ken. Had to try that Tuscan, eh? Yes, had to try it. Hi, guys. 12 25 is your change. Thank you. It's in the bag. All right, and what, what's on a Tuscan chicken? It has a, um, a creamy garlic aioli with uh, sun dried tomato. Okay. And it has two slices of tomatoes, spring mix, a slice of Asiago cheese with a home style chicken served on a soft ciabatta bun. Okay, so the Tuscan is the sauce? The Tuscan is the sauce. Okay, so right? it has nothing to do with the chicken though, right? No, no. Okay. Take care. Have a great Could day. I have ordered that as a spicy? You could. I could have? Yeah. Oh, I should have done that. Anyway. Do you want me to make it for you? No, it's all right. Sure. I'm good. Yeah. Thanks. I should have. Oh, I even thought of that earlier. I'm like, I should do that as a, a spicy sandwich. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are parked. Let's see. Like I said, I should have, I can't believe I forgot. I was going to order it as a spicy because Wendy's has the best spicy chicken ever. Uh, so it came to $7.77 for just the sandwich. Uh, and that was after taxes. I guess it was $5.99. This, this is a premium sandwich you'd get at, uh, at almost any high-end uh, place, restaurant is what I'm trying to say. All right, it already smells like, like a deli sandwich, a hot deli sandwich. Ooh la la. Mm. Let's open it up. As you can see, I'm trying to save a bit of money, so I brought my own water today. I just can't afford to do this all the time. Mmm. That cost me about four cents. All right, so I, I guess one, one of the unfortunate things about ordering just the sandwich is it costs more. Uh, so if I ordered the sandwich uh, like as a meal, then it drops the price of the sandwich, like all the prices of all the things drop, but you have to eat more. So if you're trying to save a little bit of uh, calories and uh, just have a sandwich, have your own water, then it's like $7.77. There you go. I'm not sure exactly how many calories it is. I'll put that information up right here. All right. So it's actually, you know what it smells like? It smells like a bakery right off the top. You can smell that bun. Mmm. Okay, so there's a uh, there's a, an aioli on it. There's sun-dried tomatoes. There's a spring mix. So you got your toasted bun. You got your huge chunk of chicken. This is why I love Wendy's. Look at the chicken. Uh, you've got your cheese. You've got your spring mix. You've got tomatoes and your uh, aioli sauce with the sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, guys, let's compare this. This isn't really fair. I should just turn this just a bit sideways to get all the stuff on this side. Okay, let's compare this to the one I found on the internet. Ding! Hey, nice buns. What'd you think? Was it close? Oh, now I can smell that aioli sauce. Oh, it smells so good. All right, guys, we are going in for the bite of the Tuscan chicken sandwich from Wendy's. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. That is amazing. 
That is a real chicken breast. It was going to drip out the back, sorry. I had to lick it. Ew! This is amazing. Uh, so the chicken is 100% chicken breast and it is moist and it is not dry. The spring mix is great. I love tomatoes. Uh, the aioli sauce is just kicking it up a notch. Wow. One of my favorite things at Wendy's, and I hope you guys agree, was they had, um, it was the guacamole, spicy spicy chicken guacamole or something like that. Oh my gosh, that was one of their, one. I like my head spun. That's how good it was. Mmm. Hey, dude, why are you wearing your seatbelt? There you go. Seatbelt's off. Hey, thanks. Shut up. Stupid car. As you can see, I'm in the Suzuki again. And it is crazy hot in here. I'm going to open the windows. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the sound. It's probably like 27 degrees Celsius. All right, guys, uh, I am going, this, oh, the bun tastes even, I'm going to take one more bite. Ready? This is for all you one o'clock in the morning people. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's mayo. So good. <laughs> I just got a thumbs up from way over there. That is an absolutely amazing sandwich, guys. I am going to finish this off and I'll be right back. Hang on. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. He shoots, he scores. Excuse me. That's how good that sandwich was. I'm going to rate it right off the top because I am flipping out, guys. This is a go out and get it now. Not a recommend. Go out and get it now. I just like to apologize to Wendy's for taking so long to come here and try the Tuscan chicken sandwich on ciabatta. All right, guys. So... Tuesday, I think I'm going to go over to McDonald's and do the McKinley sandwich. And I don't exactly know what it is. I think it's like quarter pounder patties on a Big Mac or something like that. So give me lots of thumbs up to go to McDonald's on Tuesday. All right. So ding, da, ding, 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 ding. Lots of thumbs up from you. Lots of thumbs up from you. All right, guys, I'm going to burp my way all the way to dinner because that was amazing. The, like, I'll, I'll, let me just go back one second. The ciabatta was absolutely stunning, toasted, fresh. The chicken was perfect. The aioli sauce, garlic aioli, I think he said with sun-dried tomatoes, and that was absolutely fantastic. And the spring mix, everything was A notch, number one. A number one, awesome. Thank you very much, Wendy's. Talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend. Ken out. Bye. Not a whole lot of... <laughs> There's a blooper. Just for you and just for you. I'm going to check my mic just to make sure everything's good and good, 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 good go. Good to go. Not a whole lot of bloopers in that one, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, come on. Come on, dude. It's going to go right in, man. We're going to get it right in. Oh, the bag opening is small, but we will victor. That only took three shots to get in. Hey, look, it's Beethoven. I love it when the Canadians fix, uh, correct me. They're like, no, man, that's, uh, what's his name? Sir Wilfred Laurier. Don't you know your Canadian history? Yeah, but he looks like Beethoven. There's the Canadian arm on the back. Yeah, Canadian arms in space. So what do you do when you don't have a whole lot of bloopers at the end of a video? You just sit here and look at the camera. All right guys, talk to you later, bye.